And there does seem to be a buzz about NASCAR, maybe more than I can ever remember. And I think part of it is because of some of the uh, the sparring going on literally between some of the drivers. There's a lot of bad blood, and that creates a lot of interest in this sport. There's just a lot of drama going on. You know, there's a, a lot of new drivers coming in. There's great parity in the cars. And so it's making for the, some of the most, if not the most compelling racing in the history of the sport. And uh, listen, we're perfect. Uh, we're perfect in, in, in position to, to really uh, to be a part of that story. And uh, I think in some respects, we're at the forefront of that story as we're doing we're doing here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. So Noah Gregson came out. Uh, right at Ross Chastain, he instigated it, and then he got so close, then Chastain just, boom, popped him, and that video has really gone viral. Be careful what you ask for, right? If you're yeah. going to grab somebody, uh, you better be ready. I'm not sure he was ready for what he got. Uh, we're going to talk with uh, Ty Gibbs on the uh, television side here in about 50 minutes. And what an interesting day for him yesterday because he was in the Xfinity Series, too. So he ended up driving 897 miles in one day. <laughs> that, I, I don't think anybody's ever done that. Yeah, well, and I mean, it, it's just... Uh... It's amazing. It shows the athleticism of, of the drivers uh, and certainly that perseverance uh, to be able to do that and that concentration uh, really just shows that, that he could be a future champion. He's coming along and he was right there at the end of the cup race as well. Uh, and, and I think, uh, you know, he's got something in store for us. Be a great guy to watch. What you have in store for the fans this year, as opposed to last year, is something you've spent a lot of money on, is this unique garage experience. Give our listeners a little idea what this is all about. Well, the Gateway Garage experience is something I, I really just wanted to find a way to, 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 to put fans in the best position to see every part of the action and during the race you can see all of that going on from the grandstands but pre-race the garages really are 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 a hotbed of activity and so we wanted to make sure that we got the fans up close and personal with all of that great drama that's going on in the garages and so the gateway garage experience first time ever allows fans to get into the garages up close to the cars to the drivers the crew and see what's going on take the cool pictures with the family and just understand a little bit more about the drama of racing and everything that goes on uh in terms of buzz it would be natural to assume that okay the first ever cup series event in st louis that's going to be really big and there's going to be a natural letdown but chris blair was telling me the other night there hasn't been a letdown and the ticket sales are exactly where they were the last year at this time yeah and that's i think that's so exciting uh, i think just in in general in any type of outdoor event entertainment you know the second years are usually tougher than the first and i would say that that we've had to work uh really hard this year to make sure that we got to where uh we are right now but uh, our trajectory of ticket sales is really good we feel like we'll be where we were last year and uh, that's going to mean just another great happening, another event that's going to really kind of set the stage for, for NASCAR in the future and, and making sure that for years to come, we have a foundation of NASCAR racing here in the, the St. Louis region. So the race ends and you think the day's over, but it's actually kind of in the middle because of the concerts going on. Tell me about that. Well, I think the concert is going to be something special. Uh, you know, we have the concerts in the morning and, and the entire Confluence Festival that's going on, 30 different artists throughout the venue, all different genres, a uh, very diverse group of, of artists playing. But after the race, this is just a treat for the fans. It's part of your ticket. When you buy a ticket to the cup race, you get to see a full tour stop for Dirk Bentley after the race. So, we, uh, we're looking forward to that. I'm personally looking forward to that and being able to, to maybe relax a little bit with uh, some of the, the family and friends that all come in to support what we're doing here and just to catch up with uh, all the fans that are, that are going to be sticking around for the race. We're looking forward to it. So educate me on this. Uh, at all NASCAR events, is there music and a concert afterwards, or is this unique to our town? Well, I can't think of any of them that there's a, a concert afterwards. 
uh, particularly not of, 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 of this type, where you have a huge artist who's actually doing very well with a new, uh, new album that was just released. Uh, and it, it's just something I think that we continue to do is, is think outside the box and, and just show that St. Louis is a little bit different when it comes to sports. All right, give us a couple of drivers to keep an eye on. I know Kyle Larson has got to be a factor, uh, Kyle Bush, but uh, what do you think? What's your take? Well, I think you named a couple of them, but we got to remember last year with, with Joey Logano, uh, he certainly has this track figured out, and I don't think he's going to have uh, forgot any of that. As a matter of fact, he's now got a, a win under his be- a belt. He's also, since he uh, was here, won the NASCAR championship. So you got to be watching Joey Logano, but there's any number of guys. That's what's so great is you could see upwards of at least a dozen guys that have the equipment that can come and win here. So it's going to be a hard-fought battle, and it's going to come down, I'm pretty sure, to the last few laps. Just like last year, we had that amazing battle at the end between Kyle Busch and, uh, and Joey Logano. You've gotten to know uh, Roger Penske. He's been a, I think, I think we can call him a friend of the track. What a weekend for him winning the Indy and the Coca-Cola 600. What makes him tick? Why is he special? Well, he is no doubt special in so many respects. But, you know, uh, his attention to detail is, is second to none. And he does not leave anything to chance that, that, he, can, that he can really – um, work on in advance and so i think he's done that whether it's at the racetrack whether it's at his, his cup team his indycar team his business everything he does is done in a, in a way that it that is just first class so um his organization um is is just a pleasure to work with as, as you mentioned i've gotten to know him um well and and just you know a, a, certainly a person that if you're in the racing business uh, you can't talk about the business without talking about Roger Penske. Uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey, always a part of your team too. How about her role? Well, Jackie is just a, is a wonderful fa- a friend, and we just you know are so thrilled that uh, we're able to partner with her and honor her in some respects with the first ever JJK 5K. Um, that's going to be special. That is a uh, uh, an opportunity that if you're a participant and the winner. Jackie's going to be handing out the medals. Uh, the medals are, are made in the likeness of her gold medal and uh, silver and bronze medals that she received. So they're particularly special, and those will be those moments that uh, to get your photo with, with Jackie and, and your medal I think will be great. But also, you know, this event is for everyone. Um, it, you don't have to do the full 5K. We have a, a 1.25-mile f- uh, fun walk, which is a lap around the racetrack. Uh, And if you want to, uh, bring your dog, bring your pet. Um, That's part of it. Uh, We're sponsored by uh, ProPlan. And so that is uh, intended just to be a fun afternoon uh, on the racetrack with lots of people enjoying the opportunity. And how about FanFest? FanFest is happening again on Thursday uh, down at Ballpark Village. Uh, There'll be drivers there doing interviews, uh, and uh, we'll have some cars there to see. It's just a fun way to start off race uh, the race weekend, and looking forward to that as well. Awesome. You can get all the information, times, and dates of this big week on the uh, Worldwide Technology Raceway website. Curtis, we appreciate it. I'll be seeing you at the track all weekend. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Frank. See you soon. All righty. Curtis Francois joining us. It really is awesome. I mean— well, a Cup Series. This is the yeah. highest level of racing, you know, on the NASCAR circuit. So it's going to be great. We're excited about it. Dave Stewart, a major uh, friend of the track. We have Chris Blair, the general manager. John Beachy, they all do a mm-hmm. terrific job.